Not that far from the eye, so when they do open, it becomes quite a large area that they can then scoop up insects while they're flying around. There's a lot more technical ways of describing this bird, but it, it sort of explains it a bit more. Very, very well camouflaged. During the day, these birds will just sit somewhere under a bush or in amongst the grass, maybe where there's some dead leaves. They close their eye. Eyes, should I say, maybe. They don't sleep with one eye open, they sleep with them both closed. And then um, they blend in incredibly well. I mean, a couple of times while walking through the bush, I've noticed them. And you can get very close. They'll wait for you until you're almost on them before they actually move. And they're incredibly good at camouflaging themselves. Nice. on it. Oh, spotting Alex. Still got a few of the buffalo flies following us around. Oh, stunning. Let's see if we can keep it around. It looks like it's going to fly away. Rusty with that call in Pillansburg, we used to see loads of these. They're so good at it that you could call and they would answer you back, but you have to get it just right. Mm. Mm. Getting interest. Again, looking at an infrared is fantastic because that bird can now see us. If we just had the spotlight on it, we wouldn't see anything behind it. Also, when it looks our way, you can see the eyes are wide open, the pupils are all the way open and lying very, very much light into the eye. Looking at the shape of the animal. A while back we saw that giant eagle owl or Vero's eagle owl quite a few times. Also has those ear tufts. So as the feathers all the way down to the foot. This is a fairly large owl. It's, I mean, the Vero's eagle owl, as the other name, the giant eagle owl, suggests it's a very large bird. It's probably twice the height of this bird and a few times the weight. But this is still a very good sized bird. Interestingly enough, they don't really catch big prey. Like we mentioned with the giant eagle owl, they eat quite large prey, they'll catch scrub hares and other eagle, other birds, they'll even eat spotted eagle owl like the one that's just flown away, but spotted eagle owls are made yeah, well, you know, uh, got shortcut approaching the okay, I'm coming around now. See, I wanted to walk out but not, just playing dead. See it's lying down there now, Alex. Let's see. There. Sorry, this is turning into a bit of an ordeal. But um, see, maybe see if can just to the right of those two, let's just see there. That stick down a bit. That stick there where my finger is. That. That was, took a bit longer than I thought. Because I was getting closer to was playing dead at the moment. But essentially it's a stick insect. And it was just walking along the road. But there you can see the body starting, that's the back tail end of the abdomen, moving along to the head and the antennae, and of course the legs on the side. So if I turn the infrared on, and I'll switch the spotlight off and you see maybe once it gets dark it'll move on again. We'll give it a few seconds and see. We're going to just see if we 
you can see this thing, if it does move, it'll be quite cool. Alright, let's try this again. Go down a bit. Ooh, now we're in the shadow of the car. <laughs> All the intricacies of smaller things. Basically, the car is casting a shadow now. There it still is. Down a little bit. And left a little. And there we go. Now we're going to give it a few seconds, and if it doesn't. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Moving again, active, so playing dead is a behavior that actually gets adopted by a fair amount of animals. It's going to disappear behind the car again. Oh, it's moving. <laughs> Let's drive on. Let's see a bit of a look at that. I think that might be what we're looking for. Right at the end of drive here. Awesome. Still a little bit far away from us. Now it's a bit dark. We're just going to sit here as it gets closer. We'll see him better because he'll come closer to us in the infrared light. Awesome, just listening and looking. Looks like he's going to head our way. <laughs> so I'm quite, quite happy about this. We've had a quiet few drives right at the end here. This awesome surprise. Can't see him that well yet, and I didn't get the information from Charles earlier, but I would guess that young male, Deacon male, let's see when he gets closer to us. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. Now look, again, look at the eyes, compared to when you're looking in a normal spotlight, you can see how massively bright they are, glowing absolutely. And it's because the pupils are all the way open. This leopard also, like we, can't see the infrared light. So to it, it's got a normal dark surrounding at the moment. This is quite eerie actually, because I can't see him at all, apart from the same image that you can see. I think he's getting close to us. You see he's just swerved in the grass. You see Alex is starting to pan as well. So he's probably about 15 meters or so away now. You yeah, can hear the grass breaking now as well. Yeah, Alex also can hear him. Oh, they are beautiful cats. Huh? Every single time you see a leopard, it is something special. Looks like him. Even though he's not that big a male yet, he's got that nicely developing dew lap. close to us now, straight to our left hand side. To the normal eye it just looks like perfect darkness. Just look how easily he moves through the grass and twigs there. He's stuck in something. Alex is busy turning into a nut here trying to see him behind us. There's the antennas on the back. Let's turn around.